Zapier tables are easy to set up. Let's try to create one together. To get started, click Tables on the left-hand side of the screen. There are multiple ways to create a table, including zaps. Let's start with the most common methods. Tables can be created from either an existing file or from scratch. To start a table from an existing file, click Import Data on the top right of your table screen. You can import CSV files, spreadsheet data from Airtable, Microsoft Excel, or Google Sheets, or data from Gmail and Slack. I'm going to upload my data from a CSV file. I'll choose File to Upload from my computer, then I'll click Continue. Zapier will then allow me to preview my data. In this stage, I can check to make sure I have the correct spreadsheet as well as edit any fields I'd like. Once I'm content, I can click Continue Importing and my table will be successfully created. Once you have your table set up, you can continue customizing the data and fields as you see fit. If I don't have any data to import, I can create my table from scratch. To do this, go back to the table screen and click Create. You'll have the option to either select from the template library or click Create a Blank Table. Templates are great to get you started, but if you want to start from scratch, click the blank table button. Type in the table name as well as the description for your table and then click Create Table. And there you have it. Your table is all set up. Zapier tables work great on their own. They also work great when you connect them to zaps and interfaces. Let's take a look at how we could set up our Zapier interface to connect to our table. To get started, click on the linked assets icon in the left hand menu and then click interface. The interfaces tab will show any interfaces associated with your table. If you want to create a new interface, click create. From there, Zapier interfaces will create a new interface with two pre-built pages, a custom form and a table. You can go into your custom form page and edit the form as you see fit by clicking edit on each fields section. While in the field section, you can change the name of your field, the type of field you'd like to use, and could label the fields as you please. You can also add conditional logic, which will only show certain fields when specific conditions are met. For example, I could say, Fields 1 will only appear when my table's data has New Jersey in it. I can also add other interface options as I see fit by clicking the Add Component tab. If I go back to my pages, I can click on the table view. From there, I'll be able to see my table from the Interfaces tab. Once you've got your page set up, it'll be connected to your table. Your interface will appear on the Linked Assets tab and you can access and update your interface from this tab. You can also connect zaps to your tables. If you've created an automated workflow with Zapier before, creating a zap with tables will be the same. There are two ways you can create and connect zaps within tables. You can either create a zap from a specific field in a table or create a zap within a table. Let's start by creating a zap from a specific field in our table. To create a zap from a specific field in your table, click on a field header and select Create Zap from the menu. You can also create zaps from the Fields setting panel. Click Create and then click Start Building Your Automation. The Zapier editor will then be opened. Your trigger app's data or the event that starts any zap will automatically be pre-filled in your table. You can also create a zap for the left sidebar menu. Go back to your tables page and click the linked assets button and then click create. You'll be prompted to select the type of zap you want to create, such as a workflow that triggers from new or updated records. You can choose to bring in data from another app, send data out from your table, enrich or update your data, or start from scratch. For this example, I want my table to be my trigger, so I'll click Modify Data and then I'll click Start Building Your Automation. Once you're in the Zap Editor, you can build your Zap, test it, and make sure it's ready to use. If you'd like to learn more about Zapier Tables, click the link in the description. And if Zapier Tables aren't your thing, Zapier helps anyone connect apps and automate work. No coding required. You can sign up and start for free.